Hey campers, uh, coming to you from Shumi Hills, of course, you know, that's where I always go. Um, this is uh, Spruce Island Lake behind me. This is one of the sites, this is over on a point. Uh, really nice tent pad here. Not much for hammocks. Um, this is another one of those, uh, you know, substantial trees. A lot of white pine, a lot of white pine up here. But uh, you come in on that trail there, that one leads out to the main trail. And then it comes down to a point, and then it's, uh, you know, Spruce Island Lake goes around it. And I'm heading down to the lake right now. Show you, uh, you know, you can I spy the island. Uh, nice fall colors. Great. There's the island there. You can see all the beautiful fall colors. Uh, supposed to rain today. Looks like it's starting. I can see droplets on the water. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, heading over to Dr. Lake, I did not opt for the easy trek, which is about a half a mile. Um, I went, uh, I did one of the loops, and I'm a little over halfway. Um, I'm not even sure how many miles. I'll know when I get to the campsite. Um, I'm tracking it, so I've, I've done the loop before, and I've never actually tracked miles on it, so now I'll know. And um, and then I'll see my elevation changes and whatnot, because it's, it's hilly, you know, it's... Nothing major, but uh, you know, it's 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 up and down. It's a workout, so I had to stop here and have a snack and and uh, a water break because uh, I am out of shape. I haven't done any you know major hiking to a site all summer, so you know it's either behind the house or you know quarter mile, half mile, just little hops really, you know, almost car camping. So I figured it out for a little trail time. Enjoy the colors. So there's the destination. Right there. I just gotta drop off this hill. Rain has started picking up. There's the hill here. Rain's picking up and now there's uh there's some thunder. So I'm trying to beat the, the heavy stuff. See you at the campsite. So I made it to the site. Uh of course, you know the Dr. Lake campsite. I've been coming here for twenty-five or twenty-six years. I don't remember, but uh, got the hummingbird heron tarp pitched up, pick, drug the picnic table halfway in there, and tonight it's the Kamek Mantis. Uh, one thing I did change is I went to whoopee slings, so that seems to work better for me, um, that way I'm not consuming a bunch of strap going around the tree, um, you know, because this is the tree strap, and then all of my suspension comes off of this toggle, it'll focus. So this is just suspension only. So this is, the tree consumes the strap, not the actual suspension. But I got the Stratus quilts from Go Outfitters. Gotta throw those on. Uh, just as I got to camp, it did start raining. So I did get this one set up before the rain. And uh, I decided to try to set the mantis up in the rain so I pitched the tarp up first. Well, I put my tree straps on to find out kind of where my hammock was going to hang. Then I put the tarp up, and then I put the hammock up underneath the tarp. So the hammock stayed dry the whole time. Now it quit raining. Now I can uh, finish making my bed for the night. Well, here I am in the mantis. Uh, thunderstorm is rolling in. So hunkering down, I'm actually going to test out this tarp. Uh, hopefully it keeps me dry. Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, it's rumbling pretty good. So, maybe I'll try to get some video, you know, once it actually st started to rain, but it uh, hasn't gotten real heavy yet, so I'm sure I'll flip the video back on when, uh, when it starts getting bad. Well, I didn't plan on camping in a thunderstorm, but you know, that's it happens. Uh, I expected rain, uh, there was rain in the forecast, so I expected that, but I didn't expect uh, you know, a, a thunderstorm. Saw the wind kind of pick up a little bit, um, started raining a little bit harder, but I'm kind of tucked into the trees, so uh, the wind isn't really hitting me all that bad. 
I'm really hoping that this tarp is uh, blocking it. I'll find out more once I can get out and uh, check my under quilt. I don't feel anything, you know, kind of hitting it. You know, because my foot is against the, the, the under quilt. I don't feel anything hitting it. So we'll see. I mean, it is synthetic, so even if it gets wet, uh, it should still keep me warm. Plus, it's got a uh, water resistant uh, outer shell on it. There's some more thunder. So uh, it, it should be fine. Um, you know, like I said, you know, once this lets up, I can get out and uh, give it a good once over and find out uh, what the next step is. So this is the Teton Poncho. It's uh, four and a half feet wide by eight and a half feet long. I got it with my uh, Teton Grand 5500 pack. Um, it was a part of the deal, I guess. It does have tie outs on here because it is an emergency uh, tarp as well. So, testing out the uh, waterproofness. It's, um, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it is a ripstop. So, and it's nice and bright yellow. So, but we're trying it out. So, I'm back in the hammock. Uh, a lot of, uh, starting to pick up a little bit. So, not so much the rain, but uh, the thunder and, and the lightning activity. So I figured I'd hop back in the hammock. Uh, you can see the yellow behind me here. That's that Teton uh, poncho. I figured I might as well just toss it over that end and kind of close that off a little bit. I did walk around and check it, and um, everything, hammock, undercoat, everything is dry. So the tarp itself is doing its job, but I figure, you know, what else am I going to do with it? I can't bring it in here with me. I might as well toss it up over there and uh, have a little bit extra protection. So, just uh, just waiting for it to let up now. Starting to get a little hungry. I kind of want to cook something. Which, I could go to my other tarp and do that, but this is too much fun. Laying in here, listening to the rain on the tarp and the thunder. and Just a good time. This is what I like. I don't recommend camping in a thunderstorm. Like I said, it wasn't my intention. It just happened. So. Well, the storm's over. Uh, it calmed down. Sun peaked out a little bit. So, made it through nice and dry. Uh, this is actually a, my Compass 360 rain jacket. Uh, I did get to try it out a little bit. I don't know. I, it didn't get real wet, you know, by the time I got out and and put it on the rain was almost done so just cooked up uh another nor rice side uh broccoli and cheddar this time but i did use the can stove again um i wasn't happy with the results i got from last time so i tried it again and uh this time i took my ounce bottle of flu uh fuel and i put it under my arm and i held it there i don't even know how long i just kind of fart around camp and uh got it nice and warm under my arm and then when i went put it in the stove you know, it, it bloomed almost right away. So I think the warm fuel uh, really, really helped. Um, so cooked up uh, that, that rice side with about one ounce of fuel, uh, same as a fancy feast would do. So, you know, it's another option for me, I guess. Uh, the, the mantis, the, the tarp on the mantis ended up working out, uh, kept everything dry. The only thing that got wet was my underquilt, and that was because it was dripping off the edge of my tarp and splashing, and the splash came up and got uh, got my underquilt. Um, not that big of a deal, only a couple drops or whatever, and uh, you know the shell on it is water resistant, so it just it beat it up, and I'll just let it hang there and dry. So uh, I think it's about time for some lunch. Um, the hike in, um, I almost forgot. I did uh, I did track that, and it was about four and a half miles. Uh, to do that loop to get to this site. So that that explains why it was so windy. That's the farthest I've gone, I think, all year. Uh, it, was, it was the four and a half miles. So, But it was well worth it. I got some really nice pictures. So well worth the walk. Well, evening's about to set in, and uh, I figured I'd make, do this little, uh, little segment here. So I got my Ozark Trail backpack. I wore that one today because it has a built-in uh, cover and I mean this thing is 
really, really bright. So that way I can use my landing pad, you know, for something else, um, like changing. I'm gonna stick it underneath the hammock tonight. That way I have a clean place to, you know, take my boots off and uh, get in my hammock. So it's nice having it, you know, dual purpose like that. Uh, for the storm, I did have my pack and all of my stuff into my little chair. And I used the, the landing pad to cover all that up. And I used the little, uh, the cinch ropes to, to snug it up to the bottom of the chair. That way it wouldn't blow off and kept everything nice and dry. So, well, it got dark quick. Um, got a little fire going behind me there. Thinking, uh, trying to think about supper time because uh, it's going to be bedtime here shortly. I'm going with uh, chicken and dumplings, mountain house. Uh, kind of tastes like uh, chicken pot pie. So... It's delicious, delicious stuff. So I'm gonna get that cooked up. And uh, I got the, the Ozark Trail light. Trying that out again, yep. So we'll see. Uh, I had to charge it again before I came. I, I doesn't hold a charge or something, I don't know. So we'll see how long it lasts. Other than that, uh, it's probably gonna be about it for the night. Well, made it through the night. Uh, I think I went down about 10 last night. And, uh, you know, I didn't get up till 7 this morning. So, you know, that's that's nine hours there. Other than to use the bathroom, of course. But uh, the wind picked up a little bit. But I, didn't, I could hear it, but I couldn't really feel it because, you know, I'm kind of tucked into the trees. And so it was a, it was a good night. Uh, it only got down to about 56. So... You know, the Stratus quilts were awesome. I was nice and warm all night. It was a really good night in the hammock last night. So far, this trip has been, uh, it's been really nice. So, got ducks flying around, beavers swimming around, you know, wildlife. I did forget about the whole fall camping here, though. Uh, pine cones. Pine cones are dropping. So, haven't had one hit me yet, but... I can hear them. I can definitely hear them. Now, uh, time for some breakfast. Uh, strawberries and cream oatmeal this morning. Well, that's it. All packed up, ready to hike out. Uh, taking the shortcut out, got to admit. Um, it's just uh, like half mile to the truck. So, uh, not too far at all. Nice clean campsite. Uh, I do want to mention my pack weight on this trip was uh, 23 pounds. Um, and I, you know, I, I brought some stuff I didn't have to. Like I didn't need the chair because I knew I was going to have a picnic table. Um, I probably didn't need the Teton poncho. Uh, I always bring my Bluetooth speaker. I probably didn't really need that. So I could have shaved a lot of weight by, uh, by leaving some stuff at home. But uh, the one thing I do like about my pack, my pack weight, is I'm ready to camp anywhere, absolutely anywhere. If I bring my chair, um, I'll always have a place to sit. I always have my own stove, so I don't need a fire pit or fire ring. So I can cook or whatever. All I need is uh, water. So, you know, that's one nice thing about my, my pack is I'm ready to camp pretty much anywhere. Even uh, if it's just a quick overnight, I gotta stop on the trail somewhere. I can just hop in, find two trees, and I'm ready to camp. Other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, I think that wraps up this video. As always, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.